Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I do apologize ahead of time if the lighting and like the colors are like weird in this video. I'm recording at night and normally I don't do that because a lot of the light in my apartment just comes from natural light and it helps me out a lot with the quality of my videos. But right now I didn't have too much of a choice but to film in the dark today. Um, so we're gonna try it, we're gonna see how it goes. Hopefully the quality is not too bad. And yeah, what we're doing today is a Chanel handbag collection. I'm excited to share this with you guys because I haven't shown all of them in like one place because a lot of my Chanel collection started after I did my handbag collection video earlier this year like I kind of got hooked on Chanel I got a little bit addicted I went a little bit crazy um, but I'm gonna go through the bags that I have here and I'll talk a little bit about each one I kind of let you guys know what some of my favorites are I've done quite a few videos on my Chanel bags previously um, but they were more so focused on one individual bag or like an unboxing so I feel like it'll be kind of nice to see them all in one place side by side so here we go let's get started <laughs> so first of all this little baby right here is one that you may have seen before this was one of the bags that was in my handbag collection video this was my first ever chanel bag actually and it is an exotic it's a stingray bag and it's a boy bag so um i forgot the exact name of it i'll put it down in the description box though uh once i remember but i can't remember the exact name of what this bag is called um, but yeah the top is stingray this middle piece and it goes all the way through the back it has that chunky chain because it's a boy bag and then when you open it up one thing i really actually love about this is the closure so let me show you guys like the opening and closing of it um hopefully my camera will focus <laughs> we're struggling with the lights so hard right now like i just want this lighting to be okay like i really hope this doesn't turn out bad just <laughs> please bear with me but um basically you have the little two clamps on the side when you push them it pops right open and it's just like a little empty hole in there there's like a little pocket in the back um, which you could probably put like cards and things like that in. I honestly don't use this bag very often because it seems like it kind of has a very specific purpose. I did buy it to match a, match a pair of uh, Christian Louboutins that I have that are also this hot pink color. Um, and since I haven't been going out to like a situation where I would really like dress up that much, I haven't worn this bag. Um, but I really do love it. I love that I have an exotic piece from Chanel in my collection, especially because after I made that video, I didn't know this, but after I made that video, a lot of you guys told me that Chanel no longer does exotics. So it's kind of special to have a Chanel exotic in your collection. Um, one other exotic that I would want to get if I were to like buy another Chanel exotic, I don't have it on my list like right now, but I love the jumbo and I think like alligator or crocodile. Um, I think that that's just so, oh my gosh, it's like so unbelievably gorgeous and I think it's so pretty. So, I mean, maybe one day, like it's not on my list for right now, like it's not on the immediate wish list, but maybe one day. Okay, so it's only fitting. I did my um, first Chanel bag. This is my most recent Chanel bag that I purchased. It actually still has the fashion file tags on it. Um, if you guys know me or watch my videos a lot, you know that I tend to buy from fashion file. I am a person who really almost only buys pre-loved handbags. Um, for the most part like, there are very few exceptions that I have to that I just like to be able to save a little bit of extra money I feel like why not so I buy almost all my pre-loved bags from fashion file I'm looking at the pile on like the side of the camera um, they're actually all from fashion file so all of my handbags that are Chanel are pre-loved and they're from fashion file but this is my most recent one she got her little tag on her still I did an unboxing video of this bag this is the Chanel jumbo double flap um, and it is in the color beige Claire. This is a bag that I have been wanting for a long time I feel like it's something that's just super classic and it's super classy I feel like it fits with a lot of the outfits that I tend to wear um, I just did the unboxing not too long ago like maybe a couple weeks ago <laughs> So I haven't I got a chance to wear this bag anywhere just yet I bought it as a work bag and since I'm not currently going to work Um, yeah, she hasn't gone anywhere, but one day this will make great use for a work bag and I'm actually very very excited to use this bag um, this is one that was on my wish list for a hot minute because it is such a classic color and it has the gold chains and normally I'm a silver hardware girl like to the core but this bag is just so much more beautiful and gold to me I originally had this same bag except for with silver hardware on reserve with fashion file and I ended up canceling that one to get the gold one so that's kind of how important it was to me to get the gold on this bag I just think it just adds so much to it it's so beautiful and the jumbo is my favorite size by the way of the Chanel classic flap so you'll probably see that in a couple minutes but yeah the jumbo is my favorite size <laughs> next up is honestly such a beauty this is my second jumbo that I got in my third Chanel bag in total um this bag is probably like looks wise probably my favorite bag that I have 
uh, just to be honest like looks wise i think it's just absolutely gorgeous this blue color is stunning i tend to wear very basic outfits and i've talked about this a lot on my channel i tend to wear like black white just like very simple outfits so a bag like this that just really pops and stand up, stands out is so beautiful to me one thing about this one is that it is in lambskin so i tend to be a bit more careful with it um and it does have some damage to the corners already it's not uh from me wearing the bag it's actually from when i purchased it it was like this i do wear this bag though i've worn it quite a bit but it's it was like this on the corners um where it starts to wear i'm sure you guys have seen that before too and the color just isn't as vibrant toward the corners i think that this is a bag that i'm going to end up sending to the leather surgeons at some point um just to kind of even out the color and make sure that it just stays as vibrant and as beautiful as possible for as long as possible because this color when i saw it on fashion file like my like heart just jumped and i think that this is just the most beautiful bag and even though i don't wear it quite as much because it's lambskin and it's not caviar <laughs> even though i don't wear it quite as much i just i still find it so amazingly beautiful this is one that actually sits all the time on my shelf over there um i probably should like keep it in a dust bag but i don't because i really rotate my bags a lot so i don't tend to keep them in dust bags I'm really hoping that you guys can see the color of this hardware. I Someone told me the name of the hardware last time I did a video on this bag and I don't remember what they said it was called. It's not the regular gold, it's kind of like a muted gold color that's like, um, it's kind of a matte finish to it to kind of explain it if it doesn't show that well on camera. But I forgot what it's called, but it's not the regular gold because the um, beige clear that I have is in like the shiny gold hardware. This one's a little bit different. It looks just has a different look to it. I just think that the gold with this blue is just so freaking stunning like i just i love this bag i absolutely adore this bag she's one of my favorites for sure <laughs> now like i said the jumbo is my favorite size so the next bag is about to be a jumbo too let me show you guys <laughs> Ooh, this baby right here is my most used handbag in my collection um i do use my birkin quite a bit i would say that that's pretty close second and then the one that i'm going to show you next is probably about tied about like how much i use my birkin i think that this is the top of the top as far as bags that i use most frequently i think that this one gets the most use to be honest i honestly just think that this bag adds so much to an outfit because it is so big um that's part of why i love the jumbo size like i said i tend to dress very simply so it's very easy for me to like kind of tie these into my clothes because they're not like clashing with anything they're not like making my outfit look like bulky or anything like that because i'm always wearing something simple so that's why the jumbo works so well for me to incorporate into my wardrobe i know a lot of people have trouble styling it and i know a lot of people think that it looks like a granny bag i don't feel that way personally i love it like i love like the look of like just like having something super casual on throwing my jumbo over my shoulder having it like show like oh like that <laughs> having it like just peeking out there like i usually keep it like behind me like this and i just think that the look is just so freaking cute and i am obsessed with this bag this was the uh second chanel bag that i ever got so this is my first classic flap and my first jumbo so it's just i have stuff in this bag right now because i was using it the other day um it has that beautiful red on the inside i really wanted one that had red on the inside that was important to me when i was buying it i'm always so amazed by this bag and the quality of it like you can just really feel it like it's a pretty heavy bag but i just feel like that just goes to show the quality that it's made with it's a caviar bag by the way in case you're wondering um i love that it has a little bit of shine to it but it is caviar leather and then i have silver hardware on it too so i love black with silver hardware um my most used bags are black with silver hardware this bag uh the next one that i'm going to show you guys and then also my birkin are like some like i said my most used and they tend to have this silver hardware on black <laughs> that's my thing Woo! look how long this ponytail is you guys like i think i want to braid it i think like you know you guys have seen people with like those like long braids on instagram like this ponytail I got from Etsy and it's heat resistant. So like maybe I could like, you know, like straighten it a little bit and just like put a nice braid into it. Cause I didn't expect it to be this long when it came in the mail. So I didn't know. But back to the topic, this next bag is my Chanel small size. I love that I have this bag because I feel like they go so fast, especially when they're on fashion file, they like go, they go so quickly. Like the small, I know that they make less of them than the other classic flap sizes. And I think that it's just the most adorable thing ever. This is a bag that I use for going out, like whether I'm going to dinner or if I'm going out to like, I mean, right now I'm not going to a club, but if I were to go to a club, if I go to like a bar, like a restaurant where I'm going to be like out for the night, like this is like my nighttime bag. So I wear it crossbody all the time um, because I don't care that the chain's a little bit short. <laughs> um, I just don't care. This guy, of course, has the red on the inside too. And I just, I love it. I'm so, so thankful that I was able to get this bag in black with silver hardware in caviar leather. Like, and in the small size like this was just the perfect fit for me 
I I really love this bag and I do I wear it just all the time this bag is super easy to throw on for errands by the way like I kind of try to reserve it for going out because I just like the look of it better I'd rather wear a jumbo if I'm just like running errands just like going and doing regular stuff and I'd rather wear this as like a going out evening type of bag so I try to like reserve it for its own little occasions but <laughs> I do end up just throwing it on to run errands sometimes just to like leave the house because it's so small it's so portable it's easy it's lightweight like I have absolutely no complaints about the small this is definitely my second favorite size of the classic flap and then I'm going to show you this next one right here um, and like I hate to say it that I have like a least favorite bag like a least favorite like Chanel but this is one that I'm probably gonna be selling in the near future i'll probably keep it for like a couple months longer because i do still like it this next one but i'm just gonna show you guys <sighs> so this is my medium in navy blue and caviar leather also purchased from fashion file and silver hardware now this guy it's not that i have a problem with this bag um first of all it has a shape issue which i knew when i bought it that's why the price was pretty good but like it kind of is like points at the top almost instead of having that nice curve to it i could stuff it a certain way and i could probably correct that about the bag at some point but i don't really have intentions of keeping this bag for a long time um i think that it's a really beautiful color i really like it but the thing is that the medium is my least favorite size and i've said this before in videos i know it's like an unpopular opinion because everyone loves the medium like it's their favorite they love it I think that it's a beautiful bag. I think that the size is just like awkward for me. I love the ability to just be able to carry whatever I want to in the jumbo. And I love the portability of the small because it's such a good night bag. But this guy, I just don't, it doesn't fit well into my lifestyle. Like I don't see myself reaching for this bag very often. Like I have to purposely plan to wear this bag to make sure that I get use out of it. So it is something where I said this in my handbag collection video a while back. If I don't use the bag, like it needs to get out of my collection. Like I gotta sell it, I gotta do something, but it can't stay in my collection if I don't have it use for it so this is something that i probably will be selling in the near future i probably keep it for a little while longer like i don't feel like it's time that my collection is done just yet like we got a couple more outfits to wear with it but like <laughs> eventually this is something that i'll be selling because this is not one of my favorite bags and it just doesn't bring me as much joy as my other chanel's do so yeah that's the story on this one <laughs> but yeah that's my chanel collection you guys i don't have an insanely huge collection or anything like that but i figured i'd share it with you guys because out of all the bags that i purchased since I did my handbag collection video, I think it was like January or February back then, since I did that handbag collection video, um, a majority of the bags that I purchased have been Chanel bags. So I figured I'd kind of like catch you guys up on what the collection is looking like, get everybody back on track, we're back on the same speed here. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos like this one. Also, if you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, I'll put my Instagram right here. It is swanxdon. I tend to post quite a few styling pictures if you guys wanna see how I style my bags. I also made a whole video about how I style my bags. If you guys wanna like go watch that, you can go watch that over on my channel but yeah that's all that i have for you guys for today i love you guys and i will see you in the next video bye guys <laughs>